Thank you. Just use the tip and slowly move it side to side to start scratching. Welcome to the final episode of this six-part mini-series by Rijksmuseum Creative, where we focus on making a dummy sketch for a photo book. Of course, we're going to do that inspired by the Grandmaster Ed van der Elske. And in this lesson, we're going to paste the book together, the dummy. So I'm going to put you right to work. Um, <laughs> okay. We made a lot of spreads, beautiful spreads. And now we're going to paste them into the dummy book, so that we have a nice physical copy. Okay. Great. So you can start with the first page. Kathy is pasting the pages together because then in the end we have a physical copy and it's easier to flip through the pages and have a good understanding how we continue the process when we make a digital photo book. Later in the process we go online to your favorite uh, photo uh, order service and you can literally copy everything you made on the computer, and then you have a great finished book. This already looks great. How does it feel? It feels really nice. Like you said, it's just, uh, we put it together as an example, but uh, for the digital book, but it's also, is a nice book itself. In one of the previous episodes, Kathy mentioned that she wanted to, just like Ed, draw on the photograph. And here is a photograph, a portrait of Karel Appel, the Dutch painter, shot by Ed van der Elske. And it looks like he's written on the picture, but it's actually scratched with a knife in the surface. As you see in this photograph, it turned out quite beautifully. So that's something you can do as well. Also, Kathy, you can uh, ask your children or your husband to add a little text in your book or a little drawing, so you have a more personal yes. photo book. That's a nice idea, yeah. Almost finished. Nice. What we're going to do now is add the text. So uh, you can flip over, open the first page, and that's a blank page. Yes. And it's nice if you start your book with uh, maybe a subtitle, or maybe you want to thank someone and write a little note, just like a book uh, yeah. when you open it. So um, you can use fine liners or a pen. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kathy is... Uh, Thinking of an introduction for her book, I'm going to give you a little tip. When you're making your book at home, you can add as much things as you like. It doesn't need to be photographs only. You can add a map or maybe tickets, from traveling. You can make it as, uh, as bold as you want to. We can find a photograph to uh, scratch in. Yes. How do you feel about that? Scratching uh, in your picture. Well, <laughs> <laughs> a bit um, hesitating. Mm -hmm. Also about the text, what, mm -hmm. what do you want to say? So just think about a yes. word, and maybe a picture that has a little bit darkness in it. Yeah, because so we're going to see scratch it. and see the surface. If you have uh, doubts about starting in your photo book right away, we can use one of the pictures that we have left yes, of course. to practice on. So I'm going to give you the knife. The same picture. The same picture, perfect. So we can, thank you. And just use the tip and slowly Move it side to side to start scratching. Goes quite easily, right? <laughs> easily, but well, it's like scratching into glass. Almost, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we can try. I can try in the yes, real. If you're book. ready, then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice, it's a nice touch. Yeah. Well, here you have a lot of blank space, which gives you opportunity to write some more, or maybe add some tickets, or um, other uh, memories that you can paste in the book. Um, let's see what else we yes. have. In the end. In the end, like here, yeah. yeah. Maybe write a little bit about the context of the story. You can add a map of Japan, of the, and you can even draw the map yourself and the route that you traveled. Uh, I believe it was Tokyo and Kyoto. Yes. So uh, you can, and the possibilities are endless. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Great. 
So this is the end of our six part mini series about making a photo book dummy by Rijksmuseum Creative. And I'm very proud of you because I think you've made a, a beautiful photo book. Thank you. All what Kathy needs to do right now is take her physical dummy and go to the computer and start making the digital version of the book that you can order in a physical copy. And because we made this dummy, it's quite easy because you already thought about the design. So all you have to do is copy it. And then when you have the new copy, you can start writing and scratching again. Yes, thank you for everything. Thank you. This was the end of our six part mini series of making a photo book dummy inspired by Ed van der Elske. I would love to see your process too. So please share it with us on your social media using the hashtag Rijksmuseum Creative. Thank you so much and see you the next time.